if you have CCL4. So let's start. C and I have four CLs. Let's find their valence electrons. C has four. CL has seven. And I have, you know that, you know, I have four chlorine atoms. Okay, add them up. Do I have any charge? No, so I don't need to worry about that. So add them up. So what do you have? You have seven plus seven plus seven plus seven is 28 plus four is 32. Which atom do you think is central? C. It's less electronegative and it's written first. C, anytime you see C, it's always your central atom. So here it is. C, L is more electronegative. It's 3. C is 2.5. So let's begin. Put C in the middle. Attach to C, L. CL and CL. Okay, the next step is I need to give the outer atoms the octet. So far, CL has two. So I'm going to do this. Okay. And now look that each CL has eight. Two, four, six, that double count. So it's eight, 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 and eight. So let's look at any leftovers. Well, I have eight plus eight plus eight plus eight. That's 32. So you have no leftover electrons. Okay. Well, let's look at carbon. Is carbon happy? Yes, it is. It has eight. Two, four, six, and eight. Do you need any double bonds? You did not because the central atom is happy. Let's move on to the next one. CCL2, SCL2, I'm sorry. So you have S, okay. All right. It's acting up here. And two CLs. S has six. CL has seven. Any charge I have to worry about? No. So that's 20. Okay. Which atom do you think is central? S. Let me erase this so that we don't have to worry about this. Okay. Start with the outer atoms, CLs. So we have two, four, six, and this one is eight, two, four, six, eight. Okay, pause now. Do you have any leftover electrons? Well, I used eight and eight is 16. So I have four leftover. Okay, good. Then let's ask, does S have an octet? Does it have an octet? It does not. It only has what? Two, four. So it needs four more. Where do you think these four go? They go on S. So this is a case where you have leftovers. You gave them to the central atom and it made it happy. 
Okay, let's move on to the next one. No. Okay, so we have N, two O's. Let's go find their valence electrons. N, by the way, all of those problems, you should attempt them, pause before, and then check with my answer. So that's what I would expect you to do. So if I were you, I would pause right now and do the problem. So, Okay, so you have N, has five and O has six. Okay. Well, one second. Well, let's check. Do we have any charge that we have to worry about? Yeah, that's a negative right there. So that negative means I have to add one electron. Okay. So I have one plus six. Let me move that plus sign so that. So I have seven, 13, five, 18. 18 is my total valence electrons. Okay, which atom is central? N. So let's look at electronegative written first. Okay, start with the outside. Okay, do I have, how many do I have? How many electrons do I have in this structure so far? So count. Two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. So that's 16. Do I have any leftover? Yes, so you use 16. So you have two leftovers, two leftover electrons. Okay, where do they go? On N, needs it the most. But let's check. That's what you should be doing, putting the leftovers and then asking yourself, don't jump to double bonds before you have, you checked for any leftovers. If you have none, then you, you go ahead, you proceed. But in this case, let's check. So N is two, four, six, still not happy. And you have no more because you place those leftover electrons on it. So now what do you think we should do if we run out of electrons and the central atom isn't happy? A double bond. So what would we do then is we simply remove, it doesn't matter which lone pair, I'm going to remove this lone pair and make it a double bond. Since this is negative, put that in brackets and the negative on the outside. So that's nitrite. Let's do the next one. So I'm doing enough of here of these, so please make sure you do enough of these. This is like working out math problems. It needs practice, but you'll get it. You'll develop, you'll develop patterns when you do enough of these. So let's do the next one. So this is formaldehyde. Used to be um, utilized for um, embalmment, uh, preserving uh, cadavers. Uh, but it's toxic, so uh, not used anymore. Has a pungent smell to it. So let's look at all right. So we have H, H, two H's, a C, and an O. Look up the valence electrons of these. H is one. H is one. C is four and O is six. So this should be 12 valence electrons. Okay, which atom is central? Let's look. Well, H cannot be central. 
So these are not central atoms because they only have one electron. So how are they going to form with multiple uh, form bonds with multiple atoms? So it has to be C. It's less electronegative than O. Like I said to you, anytime you have C, it is your central atom. In fact, that's why organic chemistry is built on carbon atoms because carbon is great at sharing electrons. So it forms bonds and you form large molecules. So then in this case, we have H, C, C, and O. Okay. Be aware that H is only two, needs only two. So it's happy so far. So you should never do this. This is an unforgivable mistake. This means you, everything you learned in quantum mechanics doesn't apply anymore. Uh, no, remember H is 1s1, so it only becomes 1s2 when it bonds. So it goes from 1s1 to 1s2. There's no like 2s, look at your periodic table. So here it is, 1s1, wants to be like helium. That's why it's called the duet. So there's no two, none of that, Does, they don't apply. So, we have 12, so we have to give the outer atoms first um, the octet, so then they go on oxygen. We have two, four, six, and that's eight. Okay, well, check how many you have so far. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, you use them all. So you have no leftover electrons. Well, let's check C here. Is C happy? It's not. Two, four, six. So then what should you do if you have no leftover electrons, if it's not happy? Yes, you need double bonds. So what you're going to do is you're going to and erase this right here and make it a double bond. I don't like this double bond, it looks weird. All right, okay, a little bit better. Here it is, that's formaldehyde. So there's a double bond and two single bonds and lone pairs on oxygen. That's how you describe it. 